I'm going to show you how you can use this Desmos application to compute Riemann sums for approximating the area under a curve. In number 15, I'm asked to compute the Riemann sum for the function 1 over x on the interval 1, 3 using four rectangles with right-hand endpoints. So I'll start by entering my function here at the top where it says f of x. I enter in 1 over x. And you can see I got a lot of stuff going on here. Now, what you'll want to do is adjust the endpoints, the number of intervals, and the method used. And that all is located at the second entry point here. If you click this little arrow, a drop-down uh, displays. And we can choose our left endpoint, our right endpoint, and our number of intervals, as well as the method. So the left endpoint is identified by letter A here. And for me, that is going to be a 1, so I slide this over until I hit 1. There's my left endpoint. My right endpoint is supposed to be 3, and that is identified as letter B here. So I slide over to 3, and you can see the application automatically updates here. Now, I only need four rectangles, so that's way too many. I'm going to slide this back to four. Oops, that's five. Let's try four. I'll get it eventually. And then the last thing I need to do is choose the appropriate method. Now, you'll see here they've identified the methods uh, with the letter C, and each value represents a different method. Right now, I've selected C equals zero, which is the left-hand method. If I went to C equals one, that would be the right-hand method. And if I went to C equals 0.5, that would be the midpoint sum. Well, for number 15, I'm asked to use right-hand endpoint, so I'm going to slide it over here to C equals 1. And if you scroll down a little further, you can see right here the value of my Riemann sum is 0 0.95. And that's exactly uh, the right value for this particular problem. And you can see Desmos made that incredibly easy. Not only does it do the calculations for us, but it also draws the rectangles so we get an idea of what that Riemann sum actually looks like. You can see there's white space here under the curve, so our approximation is less than the true value. Um, but the value here is 0.95, and that is the expected answer for a Riemann sum with four rectangles using right-hand endpoints. Again, just to show you what I did, enter my function for f of x, then click the little drop-down arrow to adjust the left endpoint, the right endpoint, the number of intervals, and the method used. And then you'll get an Riemann sum, the, the answer, if you will, the Riemann sum will pop up here on capital letter I. And that value is the value that we're looking for. The rest of the uh, information indicated here is just uh, sort of the nuts and bolts that make this thing work, but all we need to you, all we need to change as users is just these top items here: the function, the endpoints, number of interval, uh, and the method. So that'll do it. It's pretty easy to get Riemann sums with this particular tool. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Good luck to you.